Hello, I'm Adrienne Lawler and I'm going to be showing you why you should have Tyron safety bands fitted to your vehicle. When you're driving like this at 70 miles an hour or 90 like those, you can feel pretty safe. You're in control, the vehicle is responsive, you have your seatbelt on, an airbag in front of you, it's comfortable and you rely on these safety features. But have you considered what might happen if you were to get a puncture right now? Well, I'll tell you. The chances are that it's never happened to you before. They don't teach you this when you learn to drive. So the first thing to hit you is shock and possible panic. And your instant reaction will be to break as you experience a loss of control. The problem is the way wheels have to be designed. All wheels have a well in them. It's essential for fitting and removal of tires, but it's this well that's the dangerous bit when you get a puncture. When the tire is inflated, it's held in place by air pressure, but when it's deflated, it can slip into the well. On the smaller diameter of the well, it's not being gripped by the wheel, making it free to move around. Braking and traction are lost, you can lose steering control, and the wheel can run on the road. So how can Tyron help? Well, Tyron is a simple, lightweight device that covers the well and locks the tyre to the rim. And it's easily fitted while the tyre is already in place on the wheel. Let's see it in action. Hello, we're here at Packington Hall in Warwickshire to put these vehicles through their paces. In a minute we'll be going to some track to demonstrate to you the full control you can have of your vehicle, even in the most difficult conditions. This wheel is fitted with a small explosive device to simulate a blowout at high speed. Fortunately for me, it's also fitted with a tyre-on safety band. We've chosen this site because the width of the road is little more than the vehicle itself, to show you just how precise steering and braking control is. Well, we're now doing 70 miles an hour and I've got to throw this switch which is going to explode the tyre. Well, we certainly know we've got a flat, but there's no question of any loss in the steering control. The tyre has formed a cushion of rubber between the wheel rim and the road surface, protecting the wheel. The Department of Transport official braking distance at 50 miles an hour is 53 metres, as we've marked out here between the cone and the yellow line. I can't tell you how pleased I am that that worked. The tyre on safety band allowed us to keep full vehicle control, drive to a safe place, and it protected these expensive alloy wheels, which is good news for your checkbook. We're now going to take this Range Rover up to 70 miles per hour, blow the tyre and take it through a slalom on a mixed surface. We're here at the Land Rover driving experience because it's the meanest, toughest, roughest bit of land we could find. So what are we going to do? We'll deflate the tyre, of course, and then drive.
I've seen it working on and off-road, but here at Millbrook Proving Ground in Bedfordshire, it's being tested in the extreme. Now that's serious testing, but I doubt I'll be driving like that. Knowing my luck, if I get a puncture, I'll be out at night, miles from anywhere. I've uh, been a policeman for 29 years on the traffic department for 25 and actually worked permanently on the motorway for the last four and a half years. Punches seem to be on the increase for some reason. The vehicle behind is eight months old, has covered approximately 80,000 miles in the last eight months and we've had 20 punches. Punches are obviously um, one of the major reasons why people stop on hard shoulders. It causes a lot of problems. Um, again, people do get killed with it. The most dangerous place on a motorway, contrary to popular belief, is the hard shoulder. We get more people killed on the hard shoulder than in the main carriageway. And unfortunately, nobody going onto a motorway is given any training in how to behave once their vehicle becomes stationary. Uh, hardly any regarding driving either. Unfortunately, when tyres deflate, the average driver uh, isn't, it would appear, capable enough of keeping the vehicle in a straight line without panicking, without touching the brakes and coming to a safe stop. If we can find some method of stopping the vehicles uh, safely, uh, this would greatly assist my job on the motorway. We can't say exactly how far you can travel on the flat tyre because it depends on road surface, weather and driving conditions. But as you can see, long enough to get you out of any serious danger and certainly long enough to get you somewhere safe to change the wheel. Despite the flat tyre, I had no problem with control and by the looks of it, I could have driven further had I needed to. Tyron is a primary safety device. Unlike seat belts and airbags, which aim to lessen the consequences of an accident, Tyron will help prevent it happening in the first place. Originally designed for and currently in use by the Ministry of Defence, Tyron has been tested to the extreme in a wide range of conditions and on a wide range of vehicles, even towing. Tyron has been proven over the past 15 years and is fitted to military, government, police, royalty and other vehicles where safety and mobility is crucial. Well, those are the facts. If you want safety, security and peace of mind, you only have to fit Tyron once. It could save your life.